The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. If you're building, buying, selling a home, the real estate crew's got news for you at the Real Estate House Party. With attorney Rick Carter. Real Estate House Party. Paralegal Kathy Holsthausen. Real Estate House Party. Come in, have fun. And comedian Tony V. Where's your hat? Now, here's real estate attorney Rick Carter. Welcome and thanks for joining us here on the Real Estate House Body. And let me introduce our guest right off the bat. My name isn't on the song yet. I've been waiting. I yeah, thought today I'm surprised it, would it be. isn't. All right. Well, what part of guest do you not understand, well, Rick? The guest that wouldn't go home. <laughs> I thought maybe. No, we hear, like having you on. Yes, I so love coming. Thank you. As Rick did. My, my I know. He's look looking good. for the my green M&Ms. His, 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 his <laughs> earphones were muffled. There's no coffee for him. How's your water? And we still oh, haven't officially try. introduced him. No, I don't. So Rick Nazaro. Yes, thank of. you. Colonial Manor Realty. Okay, yeah. thank Not you. the nursing Not home. The nursing Not home. the nursing home. Right. right. Thanks we got for that joining down. us today. Thanks for having me, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I can already tell, Rick, that you are not going to behave today. I am going to behave. No, of course Let's talk is. about your pink slip. What seems to be... You've been <clears throat> trouble. I don't think you. your mic is I'm, on I'm so trouble. much. I, all right. I can't Move hear you. Move closer. Well, we're going to have Ed Sullivan on today, too. I just wanted to... Uh, you know, sometimes people don't know who they're dealing with. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that they don't realize the talent. I know that's in front yeah, of them. You're right. Right. You're you right. Know? So I just thought I would bring proof <laughs> of exactly who they're dealing with here, and that I'm huge in Denmark, Spain, and the Netherlands. <laughs> These, wow. This is uh, how many would you say? About thirty. About yeah, thirty. About yeah. thirty. Yeah. 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 Residual checks from house. You must get a lot of money from, from that's house awesome. shows. House sitter, how the town, my yeah. best friend's girl. Edge of Darkness, all movies. What about The Heat? Been in. The Heat, The Heat's not in this one. Wow, because that's but, one of my faves. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, and so you'd say about thirty yeah. uh, viewings in all of these countries. So, so round, international. Rounded off to thousands of dollars. Eleven dollars and seventy-three cents. <laughs> in how many different currencies? Uh, <laughs> like, do you have to? Do you have to translate? It has to be converted. Yes. Converted. Yes. How much you get for the town? Uh, let me see. I think the postage to mail that to you was probably more than the $11. No, 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 e- the IRS sent me a rebate uh, of 28 cents. The town cents. in the Denmark, I got $1.11. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did really? they know that's a great movie? Yeah. My best friend's girl in Spain, I got two cents. <laughs> <laughs> I, wonder, uh, I wonder if the town doesn't do as well. I mean, it, it's Maybe they don't understand right, mobsters. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And they no, don't, they do. They don't no, understand yeah. the uh, location. and The highest one is Edge of Darkness. No, house sitter in Switzerland for three dollars and nine cents. Wow! And then my best friend's girl, three dollars and fifty-four cents. Wow! And wow. that's in the Switzerland. Now, what's the time frame on this? Uh, this seems <laughs> eight months. <laughs> it was two thousand eighteen. No- <laughs> dated November, yeah, November seventh of two thousand eighteen. Okay. So a year. Right. You know, but I got. <laughs> I, I just wanted people to know that. No, that you're not. Yeah, we're sitting yeah, here with a legend. Yeah, with, with a legend. Right. I'm international. You're right. international I'm legend. International. I'm impressed. You yeah. were the pivotal point in the town. Could you no. have Tony sign this? Yeah, piece sure. That's going to cost you three cents. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to. I'll, I'll give it at the end of the show. Thanks. Tony. Are you going to send I, us a sign before you jump? Yeah. Seinfeld check. Can you bring in one of those at point? I can bring in a sign. So I can frame that. I have. I want to frame that. All right. Here's a. Here's something I can offer anyone who asks. I have pictures of me twirling my umbrella in Seinfeld. If people write into really? Carter Law, we'll give them a, we'll, I'll autograph a picture and send it to them. Really? Okay. Now, how would they get a hold of Carter Law? About, how about, oh, um, 781-944-9222. Or subscribe to us on Facebook, and we'll get it that way. But I have a bunch of pictures that nobody <laughs> wants. How about great the picture. sushi? The sushi on your sushi. car. Now, here's the experiment. I left it. You left it? I left, no, no, I left it on oh. the car when I saw it <laughs> to see how long it would last. Yeah. And when I left Boston to drive to Salem, New Hampshire to do our podcast, there was one piece still on. Oh. I have not checked to see if it made the ride. So, that, that who some, ate it? That is some tough fish. I saw that. I thought it was sushi to go, like from, like a new restaurant. No. no, like I no. just drive like they by. Put it, they drive yeah. by. Right, sushi. and people just reach over right. with chopsticks and grab a piece of fish. So somebody, right. off of my somebody ordered sushi and left it on the top of your car. 
I, I'm, de- I'm, get- I, I'm yeah, just. Yeah, so you don't know how it got It's not there. like manna from heaven. <laughs> it's no, not I know. like sushi is dropping out of the <laughs> sky. Know, you know, wait, John, <laughs> what was the way you took the picture, though? Yeah. It looked like the sushi was almost as bigger than the car. Like. Oh, so you thought from it was my fake? angle? No, I, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, that is a giant. It's a roll. Like, oh, it was many different pieces. But you're on the roof, roof of a of car. car. Like it's how your, big? Well, I got close, so you, you got see close. That it was sushi. I'm thinking that is yeah. a killer shrimp. Yeah. So <laughs> on that car. So, the, so that, was, that brings me to my next yes. point. How did it disappear? Wait, wait, wait a minute. To cut. Get to your next point. You had to have an original point. We've had no points this oh. whole time. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to tell me I had to raise my hand. So no, 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 it's my turn. My point. It's my turn. <laughs> to, to answer your question, I deliberated over what any sane person would do, which is to remove the sushi and throw it in from the, trash. the and throw it in the trash right. or give it to the Yeah, but who do you think ate it? I don't know. I don't know how it like, got there. Like a homeless person? Well, Tony puts one picture how on many, the- How many homeless people are ordering sushi? Birds. Well, no, see, no, 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 no. Who ate it in Who the end? ate it after, after you discovered it missing? Uh, I don't know. I mean, So no it could one, have been think. a homeless person that ate it or a bird. A bird. Oh, no. I'm assuming it f- I just drove around with oh, it on. Oh, oh. See how long it would so last. We, so oh, we, we have the owner of Studio Twenty One Podcast Cafe, who a- at us always like wants to know how to promote us more and more, and he's thinking <laughs> there is no help. Yeah. There's, take, there's no there's take those business cards <laughs> and give them back to me. They want us to promote I do this. Not, I do not want to be connected. They've been talking people. about sushi on top of his well, car. I have to say, have you ever heard of that with anyone else? No, no, ju- no you're yeah, unique. That's, that's all you're I'm saying. Unique. It, you're unique. It, See, I've, things I've got a theory on it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's hear. It. I think you've lost too much weight. And the people, neighbors are concerned that you don't eat that's enough. That's a good theory. So, and oh, they're leaving So snacks. sushi wouldn't be what they'd leave. They'd right. Leave Plus, they would a leave nice it in a container. Pizza. This was not even in no, a container. No, it, it was just on the roof of my yeah. car. Yeah. It's like somebody used like one of the ridges to put their wasabi in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Did, was there soy sauce I, with it? it I, no, it was just plain sushi. Uh, so. I wouldn't have eaten it then. Sick of it. Yeah. Did you just say who would think of this? Yeah. I have seen some stuff on your Facebook that <laughs> I've seen a, a glove in the middle of Glo- the, oh, those, it's the, my, that's the my ha- art. Yeah. The hamburger I helper. Have, it, it, on, on, and we've seen skins. him yep. sitting in a massive snowstorm in, in his um, in bathroom. A beach chair. Yeah. In, that's a classic my picture. Space. Well, yeah, yeah, you were, you were um, saving your parking space, right? You know, you don't get huge in Denmark <laughs> by resting on your laurels, <laughs> my friends. So you had a bathrobe, a bathing suit, and some Soldier boots no, on. So it was we're my have to wear my Uggs. Step up our Facebook game. When you guys called my agent about the show, <laughs> yeah. you discussed. You mentioned something about real estate. Oh, I'm we got sure. a lot of real estate. You just bought yeah. some real estate in Florida. Oh, oh, is that a very yes, tricky I way? Did. Tricky way to get well, to I, a subject. Nice call me Mr. Segway. So you just bought in segue. Florida. We'd love to hear about buying something out of the state. I would love to see how I could get down there for a little vacation. Oh boy! Ooh. she does this a lot. Right. Right. That's a I lot of this. questions. This is the one you had to put the money in a, some sort of a trust the, or a, the, a yes. ten thirty one exchange. Ten thirty one exchange. Correct. Yes. Now, do you pay attention because you're up here on the podium, or would you be really listening to this? Sh- the, the, the direction. Oh, I would gave. never listen to this show. <laughs> <laughs> Classic, Tony. Oh, I, uh, you wouldn't catch me. No, dead. Is that what are you saying? kidding me? <laughs> but he did listen while he was while, here. While yes, here, that was my good. question. I am that was my question. Right. You yes. would be very surprised how many people call our office and say, "Oh, I was listening to your show." We have like fans everywhere, and you don't even know it. Denmark, <laughs> be not honest. in Denmark. All right. Some so, are delusional because yeah, yeah, they yeah. always ask me, "How long has Tony been a realtor?" <laughs> <laughs> and you say, "Who did you get to dial the phone for you?" And then they ask, "Has Kathy been drinking again?" <laughs> they do say that. Yeah, because they all think that I drink too much now. Yeah, they all think that. Wait yeah. till the Christmas party. <laughs> hey, I'm wait- I'm waiting for the Christmas party. This- Would this not be a good venue to mention the time, place? <laughs> no. You you can't do that. <laughs> for the Christmas no, that party. used to be our are old. You, are you buying? Our old Christmas parties, you could do that. Wrong Rick. I know. <laughs> I know on. that. The other so, Rick. But her, his bookkeeper says. Um, we used to have yeah. some pretty good Christmas parties. Yeah. This Which, whole this whole podcast is an intervention for you, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bring it on, guys. All your friends are here. <laughs> what, what are we going to drink at the Christmas party? <laughs> we're going to have. Uh, this we're is definitely have, a record. Is there, is there holiday <laughs> martinis. Yeah. How the far good, can we go with the good? Talking real estate. Yeah, all right, well, she likes the cranberry. You tried. You tried. 
very. I'm gonna. We'll have a toast. Let's go yeah. to Florida. No, no. All right, let's. No. George Martin, Ed Sullivan wants to pipe in. If you're interested, yep. if you want to know where this podcast is big, which country other than the U.S. Yeah. And there's one that's clearly ahead of all the others. Myanmar. <laughs> Sweden. Really? Nice. Really? You've got listeners Ooh. there, you know, followed by the U.K., Canada, Ireland, <laughs> France. <laughs> I feel so awesome. I, I just want to say, I don't list homes in any of those I was going to say, the Swedish people want to know how to... Oh, wait. It, you know. It's about you. You're the guest. I know. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's so, all about Rick. Don't so far, about. I don't see any listings coming my way as a result of this. Show. <laughs> like, Denmark, hey, Sweden is a little Rick, far. Rick, the key is not to lose any you know listings what? Right. out of it. I'd go to Sweden for the right... So, let, let's talk about... <laughs> no, you don't. You don't even... Kathy, tell him about his territory. No, you I know. I don't even cross the border. Oh, I love you Right. You're on Main I Street, Reading. I love Redding. Rick Nazaro's price point. Right. I love his location. I love everything about your closings, Rick. Now, you're, def- on. you're definitely an count. outlier on a lot of things. You don't market outside of half of Reading, right? Well, well he doesn't go north of... I- I will. I will go. You will go where, if where I go. <laughs> but I do. I tend to um, concentrate. I, I feel like I'd rather have a heavy concentration on a small area than rather than a, a here, here, here. You know, a little bit because people know me in my market. Right. And if I took the time to do to deal with marketing in a town that I'm not as known. I, I think I'd lose, I'd lose two houses in Reading be- to gain one house right. somewhere else. Um, yeah. So it's a different marketing tool than some real estate agents. Yeah, and I, I think for me, when people call me to sell their house, they know they equate me as being the, the Reading guy. <laughs> right. Hey, yeah. isn't that the guy we saw looking out our window last night? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, right. With the sushi in his hand? <laughs> yeah. So. so how did you start off, though? What would you, what would you give advice to a, a new broker? Because it's a lot different. Uh, the way you handle it is completely different well, than a new broker. the first thing you'd say is hook up with... Carter, Carter wow. 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 What is a new broker? Wow. Yeah. yeah, that was That's a delay. Yeah. Aren't we, aren't we the good delay made me a little nervous. Rick, you, you are. You're not picking well, up. Well, no, my I, keys. I think eventually. <laughs> I think eventually get you the connect. Hook. Try, try get it the again. Hook. Try it again. Throw it out to him. Eventually, again. you connect get. with Carter Law, but th- that agent needs to sell something or have a client before they right. need. You know, need you guys. That's why we're the top of the food chain. We always say this. That without the realtor selling, there's no home inspection. There's no banker. There's no attorney. I know. I know. There's no I know. Kathy. We know. We you, know. You remind us. So, you know, I, like, I like chain. to remind the people. He makes us. And actually, even before us, without the buyer, the seller, you know, they even come before. But pr- from a professional standpoint, we're first and everybody else is here's a, oh, here's Let's a bit. take it all and the way we back. we are at the very bottom. Let's take it all the way back. Without trees, <laughs> there would be no home. That's right. That is right. So let's <laughs> thank the loggers, all the, all the, yeah, the chain so they're shop people. Us. They're first. But that's Hit. funny that you bring that up because that was something on our notes. We are going to talk about um, what's going to go on in 2019. Yeah. Um, and they, everyone thinks that there's going to be a slowdown. Is that I, what I'm reading? Yeah. Or but, you're but, reading? But wh- and wh- au why? Au contraire. Why? Because we've listed them off. Because of uh, it, rising interest rates. Yep. And, and wood. Then, lack um, of wood. Yeah. You're um, right. Record high lumber uh, prices. Price right. yeah. And my husband's in the lumber industry. Yeah. And I heard that from him, what, two months ago or three months ago? I heard that from a Ryan Carter. Oh, and he's in the lumber Jackson industry lumber, too. Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah, Jackson yes. Lumber. So is that mainly them. new construction and uh, uh, yeah, you know, as a, as a, and also homes that need improvement. Improvements, right. yeah, right, like additions mm-hmm. and. But they're saying what's going to offset that? Yes, you're right. We had stricter lending rules, rising uh, lending rates. Stricter lending rules. That's what they were saying. That's, That's what interesting. They said. Yeah, like what? Right. Well, it's it's cyclical, so you know we had a very less stringent. About seven or eight years ago, as we know, they would loan on everything. Right. And then they Ten really, ago, they yeah, really no. tightened up. Tightened up to the point where you almost couldn't get a loan. Right. And then they loosened it up. They're saying it was a little stricter last year. So you year, think that the, this is a loose, they have loose, um, I still think that they're pretty, uh, yeah. Yeah. They're pretty we'll, strict. We'll put a lot of our problems. Yeah. But the, what, what's going to trump all that is wages are doing so well. Okay, so the people can afford more more yeah, homes. So even if interest rate goes up and you're you're paying an extra hundred or two hundred dollars a month, mm-hmm. wages are up. Yeah, so that's okay. that seems like it's a lot of so buyer. So you think, you think wages I think have surpassed yes. the increase uh, yes. in anything else? Yeah, 
so far. And I think 2019 is going to be very strong. I do. I do, too. I, I do can too. already feel it. I can see it in I our know. pipeline. Yeah. I, I feel really good. Yeah. I agree. I think that the, the tail end of this year um, did slow down a little bit, almost like the brakes went on for, for some. Yep. I think too many people, aside from the interest rates and so forth, a lot of people tried to jump on the bandwagon. They, and they missed. They missed the boat. And all of a sudden, there was just too much inventory. Because when you heard things selling with you know, 10 offers, yeah. this and that, part of the atmosphere was the fact that there was very little inventory. Right. But once the inventory tripled, quadrupled, right. You're not changed. getting that high price. Supply and demand. Right. Yeah. So it was similar to like years ago when condos started to sort of be in vogue. Yeah. Every developer, if they had two units or 100 units, they were converting to condos. They were selling, selling, selling. People loved that concept. Mm -hmm. Then one day you woke up and there was one too many condos on the market. Boom. Right. They stopped we've, selling. We've said it. It could be a light switch. It goes that quickly yeah. sometimes. So now as the holidays approach, though, we see some people, they're taking their houses off the market. They don't have to sell. They'll stay another year, two years, five years. So the inventory is starting to dwindle a little bit, and we're seeing more activity with buyers. So, so. what do you think 2019 will be like? I think it, once we get past the people who are trying to catch the wave, the inventory will stay where it needs to be. And there's a ton In of buyers to, out there. Yeah. They, there are, but they're, they're afraid to overpay like their friends did. Right. But there's, there's, so, there's like, you know, so say you do, you, you have a listing and, you know, back in the, in the spring and the summer, there yeah. were 50 people showing up, right, yeah. at an open house, maybe 15 people putting in an, an right. offer, um, but then at some point they were capped out. Well, what's so different? 14 of those people are out there floating around looking for a house still. Yes. Certain price points and certain houses. Mm hmm We'll still get 50 people, but instead of the 10 offers, we might get one or two or none. And they might not be over asking, right? They might be They might, they might be, be right full at, price. they might be a little less. And they have contingencies. Be, it depends on how the house is priced to begin with, mm -hmm. but it's a different, you know. Now, is that I seasonal? See, Did you see that last December? Um, not as much. Okay. No. Interesting. No. Yeah. I think the market is good for both buyers and sellers right now. Which is floor. odd. It's Which usually is a odd. seller's It's usually or a one or the other. Right. I think if a seller is not look, you know, searching for the stars that maybe their friends got, that was sort of a brief yeah. crazy period. They'll still do well, but yeah. I think a buyer will pay a fair You know what's price. funny now is that that whole mentality permeates the whole process. When it was really hot, Yeah. Buyers would not put in any contingencies at all. Right. right. And you now know. we're going back now to contingencies. Back. Yeah. It's subject to me selling my house. It's really the way it should be, I think. Because you take a young buyer. You know, they have an Uncle Charlie come in. You know, Uncle Charlie built his own deck in the 70s. Right. So all of a sudden, he's an expert. That's who they bring to say, is this house going to fall down? Oh, that's is the kiss of death. You, you know, bring a family yeah, member. It's yeah. never a good... Bring the family you know, member. I mean, yeah. you wouldn't want your kid, my kid, any of us, to have them spend a half million dollars and not have a pest guy come to tell us that right. there's termites or a radon test or just a structural we're not going to look for a leaky faucet this or that right but you don't want them spending money to find out that the sill is falling off the house right um so right now sellers need to adjust to the right. fact that right. the buyer will is going to do their yeah. due diligence they're not just going to well, throw money I feel at more you. i feel more comfortable like when we represent a buyer to let them do their home Same. inspection and let them exactly have a finance the and contingency. Yep. And, you know, and, and maybe even let them make it um, contingent on them selling their house because it, it's a market good enough that it, there's a good chance it will sell, yeah. right? Yep. It doesn't have to be so clean right. these days in order Plus to Plus, I think it helps together. everyone, even the brokers. So you don't get yeah. the call in six months and why did right. I buy this house? Because right. they forget what happened. Oh, they, everybody they, has They cherry short, pick yeah. what they want to you know, hear. When, when you're a buyer's agent... Uh, I would tell them, look, there's going to be 10 offers on this house, I can predict. Here are ways that you can make yourself look better. I'll paint, I'll give them all the scenarios. Right. I'll even, you know, discourage some of them. Yep. Yep. But in the end, they have to make their decision. Right. How bad do they want this house? You know, so we try to 
put a package together that looks most But appealing. in that crazy market, people were, were, were waiving home inspection. They were waiving their financing. Yep. They were waiving Appraisals, everything. everything. And to represent someone like that was scary to us because I, maybe they didn't understand what they were doing, but we right. understood, and we tried to explain right. it to them, right? The yeah. best we well, could. Well, you know what's so interesting? We, I had a closing with you guys yesterday, and I represented the, the buyer. Yeah. We went to do the walkthrough uh, an hour before the closing, and the house was fine. There was an area, though, at a threshold between uh, uh, the kitchen and a mudroom that had ants, dead ants, walking ants. Right there yesterday? Right there. In an empty house, you walk in, and there's it, it's like a Hitchcock movie with ants, right. okay? Little tiny ants? The or? little tiny, the little tiny. No, they had saddles on them. <laughs> No, but you know the not big the, not ants. Not the big carpenter, but the little ants. So the a buyer Hitchcock says, movie with the ants. The buyer says, uh, Rick, what do we... I said, well, you know what? We'll, we'll go to the closing. We'll mention it to the seller. I don't know if you heard. The seller's attorney, they're sitting across from us, and I mentioned the ants. And he said to the seller, there's really nothing you have to do about this. And you know why? Because that buyer waived... The home inspection. So, so, so he that, was right about that. I knew, and so I yeah. shut up. I, I only play an attorney on TV, <laughs> but I knew. Well, and the podcast. <laughs> I knew that what he was saying was they are buying this house as is. Doesn't matter. You got ants, squirrels. You can they already foxes. signed that right yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, that was in the purchase right, and sale. Right. That was part of it. So I could not come back to that seller and say, "Well." Can you give us a treatment? Can yeah. you, it's a hundred dollar treatment. I said to the buyer, you know, yeah, I'll take care of it right. for you. No, I called the guy. It's already. Why done. wouldn't the seller have cleaned up the ants before? Well, was it because it was just sprayed Was it, it vacant for a while? I don't know when he moved, but he indicated. He said, uh, "Oh, I'm I'm surprised. I didn't see. You know." Of course he didn't. But see on the it. other hand, he didn't offer to do anything about it. Well, because his attorney said you don't really need to handle this. And because. Okay. You as a broker was busting his chops on other stuff. Yeah. Well, he had left <laughs> the yard and yeah. the shed, had everything he didn't want was still out and, there. Yeah. But they wonderful. did take care of that. You know, this with the holidays coming up, this might be a good time to uh, add that uh, aardvarks make a great house pet. <laughs> <laughs> and in their case, they should get one. Get one, yeah. <laughs> that, that's well, a maybe that would be a Don't they eat fit. ants? Yeah. Do they eat ants? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the other name for the aardvark is an anteater. An yeah. anteater. Yeah, so you get one of those. And Give it to him as a housewarming. It's helpful. Everybody's yeah. happy. The aardvark's was- happy. You're happy. <laughs> The ants, not We're going to have to write this down because our end, end of the year show, we're going to talk about our, our thoughts that we've had during the year. Sure. So we're going to have to go with the odd <laughs> box. Sure. And sure. I thought <laughs> for the end of the year show, we were going to um, talk real estate. We were going to so talk gonna about. So we're going to flip flop it. We we're going to talk about our goals. We're going to talk about our goals. Oh. Talk Wait, about I'm, like not, I'm not on that show. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better come up with some goals. You've got two weeks to My do it. My goal is to not be on that show. Oh, that's Matt so, and <laughs> that's see so hurtful. <laughs> he might be in Denmark for all we know. Picking up his check. Yes, that's right. Sometimes I just go to get Denmark so people wave at me. <laughs> oh, it is him. <laughs> Did you bring is, the umbrella? Hey, tomorrow. What does this mean, holiday cards? Are you oh, talking to Rick? I am talking about Rick. So I love this. I just throw down. So you're, you're definitely the outlier. I just want to know how long the show is. She's got 38 pages of He's questions. so nosy. I, w- I want to know what happens when you sell every house in Reading. <laughs> then what do you do? I buy a house in Florida. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We're back to that. That's yeah. a good answer. Yeah. How do you market your – that's that's why we have that. Yeah. Because you always see these people, the, the, the new brokers. Oh, yes. You did ask me that a while back. Yeah, I don't the, think I answered that question. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. No, like the holiday cards. Well, you don't do well, that. Well, I now. do. Oh, Here's you do? The thing. 30 years doing this. Do you, you use have their, to, do I you still use the stick, postage I still at the office? stick to the basics. Oh, you do? Okay. It took me. You can ask my um, my because we haven't got a card in thirty years. So the that's the only reason I'm asking. Go yes, ahead. You have. She <laughs> throws them out. I do. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> After you told us, I was gonna say I don't you really. You throw like, them out. I do. Okay. But really, you're not even who I would send them to. I send them <laughs> to my. That's I send so them. So I know very. I hurtful. send them to my clients over that period of time. Yeah. All right. Like I have a mailing list that. 
Because my best source of business are people I've already done business with. Do you put right. something in it or you just send a stupid card? It w- <laughs> because I always like you know, to look to see if there's something in it. Well, it's, Why do you assume it's a stupid card? Before, before the days of all this, I used to, we used to do the calendars and this and that, but people don't use that stuff anymore. Thanks for the business, you rube. Pull my finger. How you so doing? I, you send, like, and, um, and where's my hot box? Or something? No. I designed a really, I think it's a beautiful a card. stupid card. Stupid card. You know, and it says, it's <laughs> More of a, like a, 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 a See, thank be you good for our company. and happy holidays kind of thing. But it's just another reason for them to see my name, to remember me. They can throw it out, but next week somebody might say, I need to sell, but, but, and they're going to remember. Do you want to be a partner in our card company coming up? No, don't even no. go down that road. Right. We're not sharing those secrets. Right. Oh, and that's why we he wants to know about my cards. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So do you get gifts for your buyers at the closing? Like, do you bring a housewarming gift or? Usually. What do you usually bring? All right, Bark. <laughs> um, <laughs> Next right. time, he if, will. If, tell, tell him about the pillow you got with the 01867 uh, zip oh, code in. Oh, no. Can, this is where I don't like to share my. <laughs> Not my, giving away He's very history. stingy. <laughs> there is a. Two. <laughs> thank you, Rick. <laughs> You gotta tell one or two. Go ahead, tell that one. No, I'm not telling that one. All right, I'll tell it. (laughs) No, don't tell. He's very mad. All of a sudden, we're censoring after the. No, no, no. So how much do you spend on a gift? Tell the story. It. Tell the story. I give gifts to buyers. It's not not sellers. Right. I'm going to tell a story. You know what? There are many. There are many agents who will say, you know, you. Not me, but any broker who gives gifts, you know, you're, you shouldn't do that. They're lucky to have you. You know, you, you gave them service. You did. I get that. But it's all part of the marketing, too. I, I need think to say so. It. I generally become very friendly with my clients. So right. it's genuine, like, I want to do something for right. them. And for a while, I was doing, like, just your gift cards at Home Depot, <laughs> you know, restaurants, whatever. But once that's done, it's done. So um, I I feel that a oh, a gift that they see that they see and that they will use. I do have a a, a lady who does these custom pillows for me. Okay. With don't the, give out her name. No, and it has it'll have like a street. It says entering and it will say the zip code of where they bought. Mm-hmm. But then she'll also put established the year they buy the house. That's great. And their name. Yeah. So it's very custom to them. Yeah. And pe- so people love that. And maybe we'll add that to a basket that's got a champagne, a couple of glasses. Um, to, if it's a big purchase, I do. Um, there's a company that does these beautiful lazy susans for out of the top of a wine barrel. Yeah. And we'll also we can do. Would they burn in the the zip code? Oh, to those they're beautiful. Very nice. and they, so that way, somebody comes in, they say, "I love that. Where'd you get that?" Rick Nazaro. I'll have to call him and get the name of the lady who did it. Right. In fact, a buyer's dad, right. the dad of a buyer called me yesterday, and he said, where did you get that pillow that my daughter has in her house? I'd like to... Well, and I even said to him, you I don't give house. my secret. I'm <laughs> no. sorry. I, I did tell him. He's in a different line of work. I'll buy you one, but, right? So you don't have to give your <laughs> right. secret if away. If you sell your house, but give me a call. He <laughs> sent me a picture of her chair with the pillow on it and said, where do I get these pillows? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. How about a nice foot rub? Would no you ever? Rub. Would you ever give me the information secretly? You wouldn't give a buyer a foot. You rope? call me, Kath. I, we can. We can talk. Okay. You're not willing to go the extra distance. We can, I like we can, that. Do you that, like that? That wine bar on their own show down there. Like it's something that like my wife would love, or something that we'd like to to have put know. like to put like somewhere in yeah. your yeah. den or something. Yep. Yeah. 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 And I do try. House. I have a friend off your who. Shoes. Um, <laughs> Don't the, ask the, gal, the gal that stayed, <laughs> does my staging um, also works in a really nice gift shop in um, where's that in Melrose, and like I can call her. She she does beautiful <laughs> gift baskets. Do you get where a, do you I'll get a call discount? her no discount because it's not her store, but okay. I, I, she appreciates Why can't the you, business. Okay. You, don't you know, I'll volume. say this family, they have two little girls, and the, they like Disney. There's a little boy who likes hockey, and she'll put a basket together that's custom t- to the family. So I guess what I'm trying to get at is you put a lot of effort I into do. these buyer gifts the because cards, you're, the, you're genuinely yep. happy to have worked with them, yep. and you want them to refer you and say, Rick Nazar was the best. This, look what he bought us at the end of our closing. Right. And it does work. It does work. Listen, I just bought this house in Florida, and that broker that we worked with. That was my question. My wife is in Florida right now with, with our friend putting the house together. And the broker, the gal that we bought from, showed up at that house 
we really liked her. And I think we'll be friends. Uh, yeah, this. I'm sure she likes but you she, guys. She showed up at the house with a um, with two kinds of wine, glasses, a cheese, like a food crackers, because they hit nothing in the house. They were just moving in. They were at a hotel the first few days. I'll remember that. Yeah. Like mm. she took her time to put this together. Yeah. To to welcome them to got the a house. Foot rub. That's you, close you'd to re- a foot rub. You remember a foot rub, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and good cheese. That's what I find. <laughs> a nice foot rub with good cheese. With good cheese. Now, I, hope yeah. the, I hope the glasses were up to Martha's standards. Because uh, she has high standards. She does, actually. but truthfully, it, she sent me a picture of them, and I said, oh, those are a little tacky. Like they had, <laughs> I they see, had, I knew it. See, didn't I know it? <laughs> yes. Didn't I know yes. that? <laughs> they had, like, they had like all this writing on it, like, you know, like I a little tchotchke. But again, the point. The, the point I said right. to my wife, luckily thought. we have a lot of cabinets. You can shove yeah, those in the back. <laughs> I Come knew. I see, I knew it. <laughs> that's how much I know you, Rick Mazzaro. God. Hey, that. Oh, you never get I would have bought oh. Waterford. Ooh, I would have bought Waterford. You right. never get that with a foot rub. No. no. <laughs> Don't put that in the cabinet. That's yeah. right. That's right. Are we out of time? I think we're out of time. I'm like, 19 pieces of paper. We're done. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, it's good no, talk. It good, good talk. Wait, do you have anything else you'd like to talk about? No, I would like to wish everybody a nice, happy holiday season. No, that's and, yeah, um, that's great. No, thank and you. And thank you for having me today. Over in really. Sweden, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anybody and they, know a Swedish greeting? No. I don't need Let's get one for next time. All right, next time. It's got to have something to do with cocoa, I'm guessing. Rick mm-hmm. Nazaro, Colonial Manor Realty, thank yes, you for joining thank us. Thank you, Rick. Yeah, Kathy Holtz has a paralegal extraordinaire. Yeah, thanks for having me today. International superstar Tony V. <laughs> Denmark, Switzerland. We got proof of it. Sure. Thank you. Spain. Eleven dollars. Uh, Go get your shopping you done. Get you three cents. Go get your shopping done. Get a nice foot rub for eleven seventy three. <laughs> <laughs> In Thailand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a lot of fun. Some, yeah, a lot of Thailand stories we could probably bring up. You been to Thailand? I'll see you at the party, oh. Kath. Oh, we saw. Yes, yes. I I'll be there. Sorry, I thought we had. Shut off. I thought you were going to sign off, Ray. Yep. Thanks for joining us here on the Real Estate House Party. See you next week. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.